Hello, I'm Kimberly, and welcome to the weekend edition of the NAVE News Update. It's Friday, October 9th, and many of the stories you hear here can be found at IndianCountryNews.com. And here's the news for the day from the Associated Press and other Native news sources. The U.S. Supreme Court rejected an appeal by the Sac and Fox Nation and legendary athlete Jim Thorpe's surviving sons to have his remains moved from Pennsylvania to tribal lands in his home state of Oklahoma. Richard and William Thorpe, along with the Sac and Fox Nation, claimed the remains were stolen from an ancestral grave during a burial ceremony and taken illegally to Pennsylvania by Thorpe's wife at the time, which was seeking to profit from the move. One of the 20th century's greatest athletes, Thorpe won gold medals in the decathlon and pentathlon in the 1912 Summer Olympics in Stockholm, and later played professional baseball and football. He died in 1953 at age of 64 after suffering a heart attack. The legal fight to return Thorpe's body to his home state began several years ago. The Supreme Court left in place a lower court ruling that he stay put. The Salt River Pima Maricopa Indian community has secured the naming rights to the home of the Phoenix Suns. The Talking Stick Arena is now officially their new home after the deal with U.S. Airways expired. The 10-year deal is expected to expose thousands of potential new customers to the tribe's biggest business venture, the Talking Stick Resort, which features a casino, golf course, and the Salt River Fields. Family and friends honored 78-year-old Native American activist Jess Six Killer on October 2nd in an intimate memorial service at the Heard Museum as Phoenix, Arizona police continue to search for his murderers. Six Killer was fatally shot in his home on September 25th, and according to the Phoenix Police Department, his wife Tammy Six Killer, who hid in the bedroom during the murder, told police she believed it was a home invasion. Six Killer was the first American Indian at the Chicago Police Department and spent his life advocating for the rights of urban Native Americans. A memorial fund has been established to help the family pay for funeral fees and services. Donations can be made to the Wells Fargo Bank under Six Killer's name. Police are still investigating and asking anyone with information to contact Silent Witness at 480-WITNESS. Silent Witness is also offering a reward of up to $1,000 for information in the case. Erin Carapella has been making maps of Native American populations pre-European contact for 17 years now. With new maps, Central America, which is completed, and South America, which is almost done, Carapella has almost mapped the entire Western Hemisphere, giving people a glimpse of a time before Columbus, a time when over 3,000 Native tribes lived on this land. Eventually, when he finishes mapping the Caribbean tribes, he will piece together an immense map of the Western Hemisphere. There are very few tribes in the United States whose real name is also the one they commonly go by. The bibliography Carapella is building to go with his maps also shows that just because a tribe's name is derived from an Indian word or sounds native does not mean it is its correct name. The bibliography has columns for traditional names and what the names mean along with the given names and what those names mean. For more information you can check out tribalnationsmaps.com. Henry Buka, a silver medalist in the 1972 U.S. A hockey team in an Ojibwe from War Road, Minnesota is launching a Kickstarter online campaign to fund the development of a documentary series that details the lives and accomplishments of Native American Olympians. According to a press release, Buka is launching the donation page through his nonprofit, Kabe Kanung, in an attempt to tell the stories of Native Olympians as a way to motivate and empower Native and non Native youth. The costs of the Kickstarter will cover development for the project, including conducting interviews, doing research, writing, and script development and filming. For more information, you can go to kickstarter.com and search for Henry Buka. And that's another roundup of news from Indian Country on this edition of the Nave News Update. I'd like to thank you for joining me, and have a grand day.